We're in the ABC Islands of Southeast Alaska. Great country for Alaskan brown bear and great black bear country. And that's what we're gonna do on this episode of Boddington Experience. We're gonna do a unique Alaskan combo, Alaskan brown bear and then black bear. Stay with us for a great episode. Craig Boddington, decorated Marine, award-winning writer, hunter, adventurer. He's explored six continents to hunt over 300 species of big game, and he's not done yet. This is the Boddington Experience. Islands are really a, uh, a remote and, and very untouched part of Alaska. The islands are only reached either by, by boat or by, by float plane. They uh, uh, lie off the coast of, of southeast Alaska. So it's very much a family operation. Uh, uh, they operate off of the boat, the uh, Alaskan Grandeur. It's a 78-foot boat. Very, very comfortable. It's really a, a great brown bear camp and, and also a a really great brown bear area. It's something we've been looking forward to for a long, long time. This hunt, as hunts go, was very, very comfortable and nice, and I was really pleasantly surprised. I'm always up for a hard, challenging hunt, but there's nothing wrong with having a nice, relaxing one, too. Southeast Alaska is probably one of the most unique environments on Earth. It's an old-growth temperate rainforest. It has the last uh, largest tracts of, of undisturbed temperate old growth rainforest. And that is the premier habitat on this earth for bears. Um, they have a, a short hibernating season, a big fish run, good genetics. We have the, the highest concentration of brown bears in the world at just under two bears per square mile. Here in southeast Alaska, it's kind of an interesting situation for, for some reason, and I don't know that anybody knows why. Um, out on the islands, brown and black bear don't coexist. So three islands, Admiralty, Baranoff, and Chichigoff, uh, just have brown bears. My parents moved up to Alaska just after statehood and uh, shortly thereafter founded Glacier Guides Incorporated. Um, I was born and raised uh, here in Alaska and, and uh, spent my little childhood here on the boat being raised. From, from when I was uh, eight years old, I went every day in the field with my dad, so I had a lot of, a lot of years of tutelage. It's, it's, it's a family business, it always has been. Um, family owned and operated, and it was after, after 47 years, it was, they were slowing down, and it was time for my husband, Zach, and I to step up, and we're, we're excited to continue the legacy and keep on with, with Glacier Guides, and it's our home. I mean, we spend more time on the boat than any other place on this earth. And, you know, so being a family operation, we've got Gunner right there on board with us. He's growing up just like I did. The Rosenbrook family is really a, an Alaskan legend. Really very much wanted to hunt with their outfit, but from the very beginning, Jimmy was firm that he actually wanted us to hunt bears with uh, his daughter, Alicia. She has a, a great reputation. She's taken up a lot of really good bears. And of course, this is gonna be Donna's brown bear hunt. And, my mom is actually the first uh, woman in the state to receive her master guide license, and I, um, I will have been alive and on this earth long enough to receive mine as of uh, June, so I will be number two. When Alicia Decker sees a good bear, she, she knows it instantly. She's very decisive. This bear was at the end of a kind of a tidal flat, the, the edge of the trees, and. Uh, when she saw this bear from good heavens over a mile away, she immediately knew that we needed to go in for a, a closer look. Yeah. 
Woo, that was a nice bear. Um, we spent some time with him, and uh, you know, being early in the hunt uh, on the primo dates, it's one of those you got to kind of weigh your odds. Do you do you take this bear? I mean, he's a, he's a super nice bear. He's he's nine and a half plus. Um, he, he was rubbed some. Um, it's all personal preference. There's no wrong answers. Um, obviously, everybody wants as big a bear as possible. You know, that that's a hard one. I'm really glad that Donna was the hunter and I wasn't the hunter because I don't know what decision I would have recommended. And my place here is to keep my mouth shut, which is exactly what I did. And Alicia said, I think we can do better. It's early in the hunt. And I just kind of looked at Craig. Craig looked at me and I'm thinking, oh God, I, I think I could shoot this. There's, I can see it. We're pretty close. But you know what? In the end, I defer to my guide. And, and I went with Alicia because I believe in her. Gosh, it was a great stock. Good, good practice run too. Got her, got her comfortable with, you know, kind of the the way we do things and how to how to get up on them quietly. And it was it was a neat experience. Heck of a bear too. It was, it was awesome. The Boddington Experience is brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable, and proof research. The future in ultralight, ultra accurate firearms. these distances, a mile, maybe even two miles, a bear is just a, a black speck on the beach. Now, we were cruising along and really headed to an altogether different spot. But Alicia saw a bear on the beach and she knew instantly that this was a bear that was worth another look. And we were a long ways out and I said, whoa, I haven't seen a bear like this in a long time. For lack of a better description, big is big. He was long and tall and wide and he had everything there is to have. It looks like a nice bear. It does. It does. Okay. A little better look when we get close, Courtney. She wasn't just going in to look at a bear. She was serious. She knew this was a big bear, and that's just a matter of, of pure experience. There is nothing harder to judge than a bear. It's always difficult to judge distance over water. You've got two to three hundred foot tall trees. It, it's such, everything's on such a grand scale. It takes, it takes a lot of time, a lot of years looking at a lot of bears to, to get to the point where you can look at an animal and say, oh wow, that, that's something we need to go look at. When she gets that final look, she says, we need to go shoot this bear. close to, to a brown bear, getting to within shooting range of a brown bear, let alone a, a huge brown bear, is a, a difficult proposition. Uh, they don't get big being stupid and, you know, he's very, very wary. The slightest sight, scent, or sound and these guys are gone. They're not, they're not curious. Anything amiss, they step in and most likely you're not going to see them again. I couldn't have been set up any more perfect. I mean, you can't always pick your setup. The, it just worked out. She had her backpack, the rocks were perfect. Just take your time, pick your shot. Okay. Looks good. I was really steady. I had that bear slightly quartering towards me through my uh, 
scope, I had a Zeiss Victory scope. I pulled out the lighted reticle on that dark bear. It really, really helped me with my shot placement. A dream come true. I have to tell you, Alicia. You're my hero. You are you. You're so welcome. Thank you. I was nervous and I was so happy. I I was able to do the job I was there to do and that I got to hunt with her because she's such a legend. I felt very honored and very, very honored to be able to hunt with somebody who has been doing this since she was seven. It's in her soul, it's in her blood, and it really, it just made me feel good that I had this experience, because it's not something a lot of people are gonna get. I'm really, really blessed. Wow, I never in my wildest dreams. You know, Donna, a lot of people are crazy about sheep, and uh, everybody's crazy about white tails. But now, for me, this is the greatest game animal in North America, and certainly this is a great example of the greatest game animal in North America. Well, this is my first bear, and it is my greatest North American trophy. I can Absolutely. tell you that. This is one of those Beautiful bears bear. you have no discussion. Shoot that bear. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Good call. Oh, so, I can't thank first you enough. That was so emotional. And what a great and stalk awesome. through the tide. That was amazing. I can't actually believe you got in on it. Like you did. I know. It was a really fun, <laughs> <It> interesting stalk. <laughs> it was. I would love to have gone, but hey, somebody had somebody to hold the boat. Somebody had to hold the boat. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what well, a beautiful a bear. Wow. Good job, kiddo. Well thank you. Well, there's good news and there's bad news to taking a brown bear. The good news is that we've got the bear. The, the bad news is, well, now it's my turn to go take a black bear, but we're not the only hunters in camp. That means that we've got a couple of days on the boat where it's just a matter of, of, of waiting. It's uh, hard to get any exercise. It's, it's hard to not eat too much. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've always got work to do and we can lounge around and it's really not a bad thing. It certainly beats a leaky tent in horizontal rain. You know, in my case, not a problem. So, you know, we're going to read and we'll play cards and, and uh, just kind of relax a little bit. And you have to be prepared to do that. This is, this is not one of those hunts where you're going to be going from, from dawn till dark because there's just way too much time between dawn and dark. It'd be great if the weather was like this all the time, but it was raining and we're stuck on the boat. Basically, you wake up, you eat, then you read. And then you go in your room and you lay down and read. And then you go back to a different spot on the sofa and you read. And then you're done with that book and you pick up another book and you read. And you read. And you read upside down and you just read any which way you can because the rain's there. You can't go outside and get sun. so. I did a lot of reading on this trip. I think I'm on my fifth book. So now we're moving. We get to move and we're getting excited again because now another hunt's starting. We're gonna get to go on a black bear hunt kind of like the, the hunt starting all over again, but it's from his side now. 
Well, moving camp is, is always a process, doesn't matter whether it's horseback, car, or boat. When we finished up with the brown bear portion of our hunt, we had to make a move, move to a different area. And these, these island black bear, these coastal island black bear are just phenomenal bear. Um, unlike any black bear anywhere else on earth. They, black bear occur a lot of places, but no place are they like this. Uh, incredible genetics, short hibernating season, and lots of fish. These guys get the size of grizzlies. Um, they're, they're, they're big bears. 52% of all the black bear taken in the state of Alaska in the SCI record book we've harvested. So. Oh really, is that right? <laughs> we've been pretty, pretty blessed that way. Good areas, great genetics. The Boddington Experience is brought to you by Trop Gun Shop, equipping your independence. And Zeiss, we make it visible. We actually pulled into a, a beautiful bay that was going to be protected, surrounded by surrounded by mountains and uh, the hunting is really much the same. You're going to cruise uh, along the shore in the afternoon and glass for bears that have come out uh, to feed in the, the sedge grass on the flats. Uh, their habits are very much similar. We probably had only another 50 yards to cover when the bear went back into the woods for a, a second time, and he's uh, moving strongly from right to left. So we backed off and uh, used kind of the cut bank of a river uh, to, uh, as partial cover, not knowing uh, if or where he might pop out again. And we worked our way down that river, and uh, uh, Alicia knows the area, and she really thought she had a handle on the route the bear was, was most likely to take. I had an idea where he would, where he would come out again, and so we, we pressed on, um, got up a, ahead of him where I, where I thought he might pop out again, sat there for a little over an hour. I was, I was kind of starting to think, well, maybe, maybe this time he, he didn't. I don't, you, you get to think you know what they're gonna do, but I think if you know what they're gonna do, you know more than they do. We hadn't overshot by much. We hadn't gone 50 yards and there was the bear down in a little swale where we just couldn't see him before. And uh, <laughs> here he is, now it's decision time. Okay, he just popped out again right there. Yeah. We gotta go quick, he's getting big okay. gotta get in. Okay. dropped to the shot and that was great but my problem was he dropped right back into that hole and was completely out of sight for me so I had to had to move to try to get in another shot so we, we got up and we ran a few steps and could, could see the bear and there was still some movement so we, we shot him again and 
and that that was that. We we had our black bear, and we we uh, getting dark, but we kept him from going in the woods, and that's as good as it gets. I think he's finished. I think he's done as well. Very nice. Very nice. What a, what a fantastic bear, really nice. Just shy of eight feet, he squared out at 7'10", just a gorgeous, big, mature male black bear. Thanks again, what a beautiful bear. It is. You had him pegged, he was just a little slow. <laughs> I, I had the feeling that we'd gone maybe way past him, but we'd gone that far past him. It's always a crapshoot yeah. how long it's gonna take him. Well, he's a beautiful bear. He is. Very Got nice. A good bear. big head, a good boar. Yep. Yeah, that's older bear. Just exactly what, what we were looking for. Just what we're looking for. Great, great, great job. Phenomenal. And beautiful hair bear. Too. I, beautiful. as I told you, I haven't shot a black bear for a long time. Oh, yeah. You did good. Well, Alicia, Donna got a, a great brown bear, and oh boy. And then we, we finished up with exactly the kind of black bear we're looking for. I'd say, what a great hunt, and, and what great country. <laughs> you, you, know, you have got the bears. It's a phenomenal place, and I'll tell you what, these big guys, it's just, it, it kind of gets to you. You just, it, there, there's no place I'd rather be, nothing I'd rather be doing. So, uh, it's just awesome. The ABC awesome Islands are a really famous place, place I've always wanted to see, and they sure didn't disappoint me. Well, they're almost magic. <laughs> Absolutely.